Today, we make up for the last three days of fighting against nature, fighting against the cold and the frost, and fighting against our fungus friends. Today, we loot everything, and we build this vault into a state-of-the-art center for the cure. Timon, Will, it's on you, my friends. We're taking the newly constructed mule out for a spin, and we are going to pick up every piece of steel we can get our hands on. And my god, this place is so expansive. going to be able to bring about as much as I think this truck can possibly carry. I don't know what's happening in there. Look at the size of this bloody place. Okay, good start. Nutrient paste dispenser. We're probably going to have to take apart a lot of this stuff. We could always take steel slag if we've really got to move in a hurry. A half-built steel high-tech research bench with 250 steel just like that. Oh, what a gift. Where exactly is the mechanic me 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 mechanical complex? Is this it right here? Okay, well, let's send Chef Will down. It is very, very dangerous to be going alone, but you'll be fine. You'll manage. It is very, very cold. So this is the perfect time to be doing some solo adventures without much of a worry for our fungus friends. Oh, look at this. Armchairs. Give me those. Those are coming with me. I don't even want those to be taken apart. They've got bloody vault doors. They just used vault doors for a regular base. This is our mechanator complex then. Let's be very careful, because I'm not entirely sure what could be lurking in here. Maybe mechanoids? You'd assume mechanoids, or maybe explosives, that too. Jesus! That was, uh, very explosive. Can you take that apart fast? Ah, stand ground. Nice work, well done. Worst case scenario, we could take apart all these steel walls, but I think, honestly, this would be plenty. Actually, we could do a little mining with Timon. That's still a hospital bag. Can we take that with us? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Half built again, you shit. Of course, the main sink is building a better lab so we can start work on a cure at long last. But getting better turrets to help defend the entrance after that mess that happened yesterday, I think it's a fantastic idea. I was kind of asking about the Mechanita in theory. Like, in theory, could we could we take his brain chip and become uh, a Mechanator ourselves? We're not going to do that. It's just not the right kind of series for it. Just in case you're still alive, let's very carefully crack open a cobble with the boys. Jesus Christ, I don't think I've ever heard that before. What the hell was that about? Oh, so by quality here, there's a few legendary things kicking around. Okay, two legendary things kicking around, but that's quite nice. The car loss is here because I didn't exactly pack them for a long journey. 612 steel, 12 components. That's that's more than we've seen throughout the entirety of yesterday and the day before. But we could sell the mech link if nothing else. We'll take the cam fuel, we'll take the power cells, and a little bit of yayo for the journey home. Only 14.7 tiles a day. We are driving on ice and we are carrying like 600 kilograms worth of stuff, I suppose. So I'll let them off. Getting home is... What was that? Wizards from the Fungoid Hive have given up and they're leaving. Holy shit, they're attacking the vault walls. That was a slight concern, I will admit. I can't just pay all the attention to... Careful. To... Timon and Will's off-roading adventures. What a gift. What a gift. I ended up scratching a lot of the furniture. I could have just had them stay there and take everything apart, but they'd have been there for ages. A lovely little statue to help brighten the place up. Legendary armchair, which is adding an unnecessary amount of raid wealth, I will admit. Important parts that should give us more than enough to make a couple of... You know what? Sleep. I'm not going to push you any further. Timon, live your best life, my friend. And would you look at that? More progress in five minutes than we've had in the last three days. And with Kai's 18 intellectual and Banana's 11... I think we're in a great situation right now. We're in fantastic hands. Research is our top priority now, right? So let's throw down some slightly cleaner floors in here. Probably won't even cost a huge amount, given these floors are already partly paved over and already made out of steel. After that, I think we throw down some auto doors, because these will be the difference, potentially between life and death, if they ever breach the walls. Let's cordon off each section of the base. It's a big investment, don't get me wrong, but in my opinion, a very necessary investment. I have no idea if I'm placing these doors in the right places, by the way. I'm just slapping them down and hoping for the best. And full on gun turrets. Holy shit, was that really all we needed? My god. So now we can throw down full on flame turrets too with the pipeline junction. Oh my god, I hacked it, but forgot to open it. Oh, bollocks. Well, that's probably cost us a little bit, but that's all right. There we go. With the pipeline junction giving us 250 every seven days or so. Honestly, we should have enough to power everything. The explosive ammo, the mule, and the turrets. A forester named Grill. Hey, you know what? We really need so many good plants right now, and that seems to be exactly... Oh, you've bought an enormous jacket. Hello, Grill. You any good? Plants 12. Double passion. That's what we like to see. You're actually capable of shooting. Now we've got to ask the key question. Are you infected? You're not. Okay. 
Okay, that's amazing. Right now, Paul Sweet Chef has a lot on his plate, no pun intended. He's got he's to gotta grow the plants, cut the plants, cook the plants, get out there into the world, defend the base with the shooting stat because half the bloody colony is incapable of violence. You, though, are a blessing. Thank you, Grill. Welcome. We can't have Chef Banana Grill and Mariana Linguini all in the same colony. I promise all these food names are purely a coincidence. I haven't done anything about that. Is Tim's last name like bacon? Well, it doesn't say bacon. Oh, uh, I don't know what it says, but it definitely does not say bacon. Kai, what are you? Donja Kai. I don't think any of that is a particular food. Jas Jasmine Ruffle. Would it be a cruel policy to say uh, no more people joining us unless they've got a food name? Seems like it might be quite a narrow expectation for our new joining people. I pushed the power grid too far. Mm, no? What's happened there, then? Do we have a solar flare? What the hell's going on with that? What is going on? Oh, when everything's active simultaneously is when the sun lamp comes on. I see. Okay, we're going to have to do something about the bloody power grid. I'm, I'm asking too much of it. And we've only got a very tiny base, so I'm not really sure what else I can do. We could throw down some chem fuel power plants, I suppose. Chem fuel power generator. Okay, well, let's meet Grill properly then, given that this has been very, very character motivated. Test subject turned Forester. The poor guy was a test subject. Trying to turn him into the perfect super soldier, maybe in one of the other ancient vaults out there. Capable of all social work, firefighting. Caring, nursing, operating, colonist rescue. Well, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. And it's taken a couple of blows to the leg. But that's something we can work on relatively soon, I think. We've already we've already got, uh, as I recall, some prosthetics research under our belt, right? Because of the blueprints. Prosthetics. If not, yeah, okay, so we did get a little bit. Let's queue that up now. Especially given that Chef Will has been through the ring of the last few days. Look at this guy. I mean, I can't do anything about the neck, but the rest of it, we can more or less patch him up. You know what we need, though? More bloody steel. Will, Timon, if you would. Oh, Jesus. Sir Spudley, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I'm not. Wait, were you an enemy? I oh, went enemy drifter. No, 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 it was a wild man. It's just that hostile probably because I ran them over with a truck. I, I mean, I get it. That's a very legitimate reason to be angry with someone. Let's go up to this ancient complex then. One day travel time. That's not too bad. And I think the obvious thing to go for next then is probably multi-analyzer. So we need uh, advanced fabrication before we can get the much higher tier truck. I presume not only will it have the much bigger carry capacity, of course, but, but it will probably move faster too. Probably handle the ice a bit better. And we're not going to stay here forever. This might not be our permanent home. Maybe we find another vault. Maybe we crack open the broadcast station. We try and find somewhere slightly larger. We'll admit my real secret dream is go back to the city. And take the city again. That was Chef Will and Mariana's home. If we could do that, that would be amazing. Big razor wire fence around the entire thing. Take it all over. Plenty of stuff to take apart here if needs be. Kai's also... Oh my god. Oh my god. This place is enormous. Look at it. Hello. Comms consoles. More large radiators. A pumping station. Well, that'd be a lot of components. Keep an eye out for components too, because I did just dump a shitload on... On auto doors. Look at all these coolers. Okay, let's bring the truck actually up to the complex this time. Save having to walk all the way over. Oh, what was that? What was that? There was something there. Oh, it's a bloody walrus. Fucking walrus. Ah, watch out for the walrus. Well done, squad. Well done, squad. Let's get it. Let's see what we can find. We are looking for... Oh, God, Jesus. Timon. Timon, you're an expert when it comes to these. Get it. Last one of these we looted. We found Chef's legendary prestige cataphract armor. So I'm certainly not going to ignore these going forward. Hello. Hermetic crate. That's what we like to see. Timon, I've got another job for you, my friend. Very nice. Okay. And then another hermetic crate. We're not going to get to that one. Yeah, we're not going to get to that one. No point. Oh, God. Some cargo pods, too. Where is that? Oh, it's on our... Oh, some grilled sausages. Great. Watch those be devoured in no time. Are you good, Timon? Initial heat stroke. Yeah, we're working on that. We're working on that. Okay, problem solved. Right, let's crack this open. See what we've actually got. <laughs> I thought that was a grand piano. I mean, it's not far off. What a bizarre thing to keep in a hermetic crate. I didn't even know you could get those from there. And then... <gasps> what the hell is even that? Crab shell prestige beetle fract armor. I don't even know what this is. From Biomes Caverns. Oh, that's cool. Heavy layered chitin weave plates with a solid of blades of coating stop all but the most well aimed and powerful attacks. Whoa. Hello. Uh, okay. Is it good though? 181% sharp armor. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. Move speed is down massively, of course. It, it, it's, it's almost similar to cataphract gear in its design. 
Oh my god, that's amazing. It's not quite the legendary cataract helmet we found before, but I'll definitely take it. We're also going to take that harpsichord, okay? We don't necessarily need it, but it's nice to have in the base. Let's bruise the place up a little bit. Timon. Sweet Timon. Oh, look at you now. Whoa, it's like three different colors. Man, that stuff's cool. Chef's repairing the truck. I appreciate that, Chef. Thank you. Uh, well, let's get taking it all apart then. Jesus, we are eating well. We are eating well. <laughs> Look at this place. I just don't understand why people build bases like this. We've got a big building over here. I'll just quickly get the chef to jump in and have a look at. Is it all just separate bedrooms? It's just lunacy. It's actual lunacy. <laughs> I play this game so wrong, don't I? The more I explore these real ruins and I see these insane bases, the more I realize if everyone else is doing this, I'm the one that's wrong. And they're already hungry. I just don't know why they need feeding every day. This is ridiculous. We got 500 steel, 14 components, 33 steel slag chunks, which is actually quite a nice amount banked. Jesus, are they even going to make it back? Oh my god, come on! Foot down, let's go! Kai, 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 make sure there are some meals in the stockpile ready for when they get home. If they get home, I might have just sent Chef Will and Tim into their doom. Prosthetics. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic news. Thank you. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. We did not come this far. Two years of dodging every bite, scratch, and bloody fungus so that you'd starve to death in a truck. I made them drop a shitload of steel sacks so they can move a little bit faster. And I think... Oh my god, Tim is down. Tim is extreme. I think I've saved their life. Oh! Oh <laughs> no! No! Okay, we're here. We're here. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's okay. Drive fast. Go. What do you mean you'll... Oh, Christ. Okay, open the door. Open the door. Drive. Drive. Go. 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 Fast. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Turn off. Get out. Get out, Timon. Feed Timon. Feed Timon! Save my boy. Not like this. Not like this. This is my bad. Okay, I didn't I didn't expect them to take so long. Oh, don't do that, Kai. To traverse the map. That was it was the, the, the truck when it's laden is so, so slow. Who's a doctor? Kai, a man's dying. He's not going to starve to death, okay? We're in control now. He was close. He was close, I'll admit. I just still can't get control over this food situation. I built so many hydroponics, a power grid has dropped. And even that's not enough to keep a nice stockpile of rice going. Let alone packaged survival meals. God knows how we're going to manage that. He's back up. I gambled so much for that. But look at him. What the heck? What's going on? Another horde. Another horde. Mr. Cake, Hello. They're not even getting close. Okay, we know the turrets that we've got right now are enough to keep us covered. Obviously, it's costing us more and more steel, but we've kind of got that under control too. My god, okay, maybe they're not- Oh! You're fast. Jesus, you are fast. They just took that door off in like two hits. Fire? Yeah, like, thanks. You want not, you're not there just to defend the door, you know? Why do they hit so hard? I cannot believe those, those quote-unquote armored doors can't even stop a- a fungus man. Boom. Look at that. Thank you. Hey, I've got some great news for Banana. Banana, my friend, I have some marine armor for you somewhere. Um, I think it's under the truck. Oh, there it is. Actually so dark, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> oh, God, I thought I was safe to send Grill out there to get some more stuff. What is that? Hello? How you doing? Uh, Grill, run home. Oh, Grill. Oh, Grill. Oh, Grill. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Get out here. Get out here fast. Grill, m uh, make a break for the truck. You can probably get in. Oh my god, they're so fast! Grill! You'll be fine, 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 you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Okay. Okay, that was a little bit too close, I admit. Just because it's cold does not mean we are safe from the actual organized mushrooms. The wanderers might not be a problem, but those ones still are. Those ones always will be. Why are the cargo pods dropping mushroom must? Why is it just mushrooms the whole way down? How on earth did you pull that one off? Chef Will mediated a conflict between Tim and Mariana. How did you do that? Tim like, oh, Chef Will, you've got to move on. You've got to move on with your life. She's never coming back. But either that or Tim has been shouting at a lady in a coma. What a piece of shit you are, Tim. Let's use some of these bloody blueprints then, given that we seem to just be stockpiling them. Water filtration, hot tub sewage treatment, IEDs, sewage treatment again, and finally geothermal power. Thank you. Actually, geothermal power could be useful. We need some space technology stuff now. Compact weaponry. I guess we've unlocked a lot of prerequisites. Growth vats. Oh, yeah, that'll be handy. Shields, brain wiring. Uh-huh. I feel, I feel like we're jumping again a little bit. Specialized limbs. Okay, that could be useful. Pristine ruins. Pristine ruins. Whereabouts? Oh, my God. It's so far. Oh, but I've got, I've got to see it. I have to see it. 
That's going to take a very, very long time to get over there, though, is my only concern. So what we send, uh, we, we send Ruffle. The name is now Ruffle, that's right. And we send Chef Will as, as... Oh, no, we should send Timon, because Timon's good at deconstructing. So cook a few more meals. I can't do package survival meals still, but I don't think it really matters too much. But hopefully this time we'll get a ruins with some really, really good stuff in it. Oh my god, 4.4 days. We've only got 2.9 days of food, I can't justify that. Well, we made the journey out now. Uh, let's go to that ancient complex instead. Oh, great timing. Okay, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna divert. Head to the biotech lab. Still too far. I hate this truck. I hate this damn truck. Colonists are gathering to celebrate Kai and a uh, banana's marriage. Well, I've got to send them back. Oh, this truck is no use for long journeys. We need a better bloody vehicle. This was always meant as a stepping stone, right? And I think, my God, we've got to send it. Show me, show me the higher tier stuff. Complex vehicles. What we need is this thing here, the big rig. We need fabrication, which comes after the multi-analyzer anyway, so that's fine. Oh, hello. Group of people who have relationships with your colonists are visiting the colony. My now, please. Zeri, Banana's brother. Are you any good? Oh, my God. Ah, oh, 14 animals is crap, though. The 11 intellectual could come in quite handy. Oh, they're not going to make it in time for the celebration. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, the mule, as we've now learned, is only good for very short journeys. What a tremendous waste of time. Go, go, go. Quick, go, quick, go, quick, quick. Quick, run! Hey! Look at that. We got there just in time. So glad. You got such a nice little community going on. We seem to have a good... Oh my god, I think we're actually making more rice than we're eating at long last. Oh, honestly, a big part of that is having a dedicated plant handler in the form of grill. Somebody who can actually maintain all this stuff. Oh, cool. Without, uh, with, without hampering whatever Will wants to do, right? Choose a trait for Banana to obtain because she got married. Submissive. Uh, Optimus, kind, steadfast. Ooh, these are all good. Kind. Oh, that could be nice. Um, Or optimist. Permanent mood effect plus six. Yeah, sure. I'd be pretty damn optimistic if I got taken in by a vault of benevolent people trying to save the planet and then I found true love and got married. Kai is now also big brain Kai. Because that's what Kai is good at. And the moods. Look at the moods. You know what? Maybe we haven't made a huge amount of progress, but holy shit, you know what we have done? Boom. Look at that. Average mood of 66%. And look, it's been slowly, slowly increasing. Oh, well, this is amazing. It's like the highest consistent mood we've, we've, we've had since the days of the city. It's a lot easier to keep two people happy than it is to keep seven. Remind me, what was the only thing we couldn't craft for the truck rack? Ooh, there's gold right there for the multi-analyzer. Oh, well, shit, then. Why am I caravanning out when my good friend Timon can just crack this out right away? Venture to the locked vault. Oh, Christ, is that close? It's on the other side of this town. I say town, it's a hive. I mean, that might be worth going for. Just because it's going to be filled with so much treasure, we could definitely justify that. I think the truck will probably be better getting over there too. You've already found more than enough gold. Thank you, Tim, and you're good, you're good. You can come and get the rest later, thank you. What we need is a vehicle for speed. This is really good to go to nearby tiles, take it apart, and bring back a shitload of resources. We need something that can get there fast or get to all these temporary places a lot quicker. I think we start work on a second vehicle. What an enormous moment for the colony right here. Boom. Multi-analyzer. Okay, maybe I was a few seconds off, but it's good enough. So, I've decided we'll change the plan slightly. We could go for the complex vehicles. That'll let us move around the map a lot quicker. Of course, we'll be able to really get whatever resources we need. But we're not exactly struggling right now. We can just pop out the base and get what we need at any point. You know what we really do need, though? Let's go for the cure. It's been far too long. So, in the run-up to the cure... Oh my god, we've almost finished compact re weaponry. Maybe we'll just do it. We need sterile materials, a hospital bed. We need a vitals monitor, which is, of course, not behind multi analyzer that we can just build straight away, so that's not a problem. And then, the cure itself. Immediately, we're going to set Timon on this, especially now that we've got the gold. The reason I keep wanting to caravan out more to find more stuff is so that we can eventually build a vehicle capable of carrying anything of value from here and all of our people back to the city. I think that's the plan. The idea of locking down a city, building enormous walls, defenses, everything during an apocalypse-like situation is just so cool. The vault is great. The vault is safe. But the vault isn't very interesting. It's a means to an end. Boom. There we have it. Multi-analyzer. It's not comfortable for the people to crammed in these tiny little rooms. No room for expansion. No room for, for recreation activities. No nothing. Where the city gives us all the space we could ever possibly need. Location, Toxoid Tank Revealed. Let me guess. It's somewhere else on the other side of the planet. Man, we have found a lot of mushroom settlements and not a lot else, huh? Sterile tiles are done. I don't think I'm going to commit to making the kitchen uh, completely sterile. Same with the research lab, because 
I don't view this as our permanent base. We're down to our last four steel slag chunks again, so it might be time to take the mule out to a camp somewhere. Damn, these two are nuts. These two are absolutely insane to say that research is set to slow in this scenario. 18.32 and 13.8. Is that much of a surprise, though? Especially because this room is... is actually pretty good. Steel tiles, decent temperature, two high-tech research bench to multi-analyze it. We're not doing the most complex research. Oh, look at that. Chef compliments Big Brain Kai on their intelligence. That's why she got that nickname. Not super relevant right now because the ancient vaults have the better beds, but that's still a step in the right direction. All we need now are vitals monitors, then we can work on the cure itself. I think before we do that, Kai's going to need a little bit of personal experience removing some of these genes. Let's give it a go. You need an idea roughly of what you're doing, right? You can't just suddenly invent a thing that removes all of these genes at once. We've got to see it in action. What the hell did that take out? Wow, there were so many, I have no idea. <laughs> Nothing relevant, apparently. I thought it might pop up and say, oh, gene blah, blah, blah has been removed. But fair enough. I mean, there are so many in this situation, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to keep up with it all. Fourthy. Fourthy, hello. Uh, is it another another mushroom? I think it's another mushroom base. Now we just have a couple of normal weeks here in the vault. No raiding, no looting, no big worldly adventures. Just sitting around, researching, growing the crops, cleaning the pollution, smelting the slag down, and just living our best life. What is that? 42 fungal medicine. Where the hell did we get that from? I think medicine from fungal medicine. Was it a drop pod? This must have been. Mushrooms that attack us as part of the hive mind, not the random wandering mushrooms, can drop anything that is fungus or mushroom related, like the wine or the thread or the whatever else. And that should be vitals monitors. Quest active, complex loot, as in complicated loot or as in loot in a complex. Whoa, that's very kind of you. Thank you. I'll take that as a reward for all of my hard work researching. Let's take the mule. I will admit these ancient complexes haven't exactly done massive things for us in terms of resources, but my god, the armor has been insane. What the fuck? Oh my god. We've just found the wood mother load. What is that? Steel? Wooden pen marker? Uranium? What the hell? What is going on in here too? Look. <gasps> Roulette table. Can we take that? What else have we got? Modern computer. Devil strand. Punching bag. What kind of, what kind of rich son of a bitch is building? What is it? Are those survival meals? Oh my god. Who's building uh, punching bags out of Devil Strand? Jesus. Wow, there's so much to see on this one. Okay, well, there's our thing right at the top. Oh. This alone was worth it just for some of this fancy furniture we found. 538 plasteel. We got 95 jade as well. Okay. Okay, that's a little silly, I will admit. Finally, finally the truck gets its day. Don't know where the way in is, but this will do. Thank you. Okay. Good luck, pawns. Find me some more fancy, fancy armor. It's a penguin, everyone. Hello. Oh my god, look at all these carpets we could potentially rip up too. And look at all these beds I could deconstruct. I don't think I've seen a complex like this before. This is nuts. What a luxurious complex you have here, sir. Oh, careful. Ah, oh, Timon! <laughs> I can't help but feel like pressing the speed up button will make him work faster. What can I say? And then just more hyperweave in this one. Here's my idea. Let's reform the caravan without doing anything, without taking anything apart. Just go for a proper speedrun style in and out job. Look at all this stuff. 248 chocolate, which is basically just a packaged survivor meal on top of the 232 other packaged survivor meals. Berries, chem fuel, cloth. Uh, hyper we obviously will take, oh my god, 163 plan of that. 808 steel. We're not gonna be able to carry all this stuff back. We should really take some uranium. Oh, wow. Um... Industrial ammo, obviously we'll take that. The wood would be really nice to take some of it. They've got 9,000 wood. What the hell? And then we'll take the punching bag. Silver roulette table. This is the work of an insane person. Let's take the computer as well, because that's at least somewhat useful. I think I'm all right with this. What else we got here? Ancient educator. Oh, shit. That's the thing that gives you experience, right? For using it. Oh, goddamn. This is nuts. This is so silly. Homeward bound, then. Not as much steel as I'd have liked, but it's the heaviest thing we were going to possibly loot. Here's the other thing I noticed. This statue has the original author's name on it, Sarah Blair. If any of these... If, for anybody watching, if these were your pawns, if these were your bases, please explain what was going through your head. Oh, I just happened to have a shitload of extra devil strands, so I thought... I'd, oh. Ruffle is now an optimist. Amazing. That's the benefit of all these high moods all the time. I just had a bunch of spare devil strands, so I thought, sod it, we'll turn it into a punching bag. This is exactly what this truck is for. It's not for the long-distance journeys. It's not for all the crazy stuff. Like, we still can't do that yet. We've got to work for it. 
A little bit more research, a few more vehicles, that type of thing. But for quick journeys to high value locations like that, it's insane. And there it is. Four days. The struggle, the building, the, the, the truck, and now, of course, this. Finally leading to the cure. I want to build a vehicle so that we can get a single user to travel quickly, efficiently, and quietly. Oh, God. We need a way to get over to that other base. What like the frog? It was flying without crashing into the ground. What if we take the frog over to... Over to that camp to try and buy the alternator we need for... Okay, this could work because we can just take the roof off here. This way, if we've got something like a quick trade journey that the mule just isn't cut out for because it's so bloody slow, this is perfect. We should have bought back more than enough resources just to make this happen super quick. Just throw it on the floor. You're good. What the hell? Hello? Oh, hello. How you doing? Nice to see you. I was wondering when you lot were going to turn up. It felt like it's been ages. Uh, have I pissed someone off? We good. Infectious cloud. Flash storm. King, what am I lacking for the engine block? Six components. Oh my god, we haven't got enough components. In fact, this is our last component disappearing now. Take apart that modern computer. Get the components for the frog. But I think we need one last adventure for the old mule. What am I looking at now? Are these vehicles? Enter war walker, legs, wall walker, torso. We got one medicine. Amazing. What a haul. Jesus, there's a lot of stuff on this map too. What the hell is that? <gasps> okay, that's a bit silly. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to carry it all back, right? What have we got there? 25 medicine. It's nice that we've got this truck as a hard limit, to be honest. And then we've got a... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this the... Oh, my God. This is the, the thing that we had in the city before. Oh, shit. I'd have to keep this map loaded for ages while we get the research to restore it, though, right? Maybe it doesn't need an alternator because it's a helicopter. I don't know how this works, but we'll have a look. Timon, you have to give it a go, though. Alternator. Exhaust. Oh, transmission. There we are. Two of those. Wiring. Battery. The steel is here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Maybe there's a change of plan very suddenly and very unexpectedly. Before we do absolutely anything else, we need components if you've got any for me. There's some right there. There's not a massive amount. Why? Well, what are you doing? Go back to work. There's nothing major on this map, though. War lamps, they're not going to work. Are these coolers? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. I interrupted that dog in the bathroom. Carry on. I think we found the only map. That has absolutely no components, for God's sake. Inspired mining. Oh, hang on. Compacted mush. Nothing. Damn you. We don't need any more steel. If there's any map that doesn't need any more steel, it's this one. What have we got down there? Ancient generator. Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe we get components for that. I'm not sure. Uh, two. Two components. Amazing. Because I've set up a camp, I think if we reform it and now leave it, when we leave, it'll stay set up. Take a whole bathroom back to base with me. Give me that bin. That bin's actually kind of useful. And then let's to fill up on steel. Again, we can barely take it, but if we leave the map set up, I think we can we can just come back and forth. Holy shit, that is busted. Obviously far from convenient, and the worst part is winter is coming to an end. So now we're going to have to deal with... Oh my god, they're already here. Now we're going to have to deal with the horde again, which is going to make this a lot less safe. Time is up. Let's see some components then. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh no, hang on, we got two. Oh, I think we got seven. Well done. I think that's exactly what we need for the engine block. That was perfect. Okay. With that, we bounce over to the city. Then they sell us a transmission and we're good. Trade with Everston. Goodbye, chef. That's still, that's still always going to be cool, isn't it? Chef can't talk probably because of poor health. Oh, brilliant. Hey, have you got any transmission though? That would be amazing. Wheels, exhaust, engine blocks. Okay, so they have a rotating stock of car parts, just not what we need right now. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's just keep that. Will, come on home. My god, this thing is so much more convenient than that damn... What, wait, 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 zoom. Yeah, zoom in, choose a landing spot. Yeah, but like, zoom in, choose a landing spot, though? Zoom in. Zoom in. I can't bring him home. It won't let me bring him home. No. I'm afraid to say it is stuck, and I can't bring him home. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that's crazy. He's back. Just ignore the fact it says caravan home. Sweet home. Good work. But you know what we do have? The goddamn cure. Using advanced knowledge of mycology, bioengineering, analysis, and a sprinkle of luck, devise a method of crafting nullifiers to remove the fungus infection. We have what we need for the nullifiers. Five components and 100 plasteel. No, because I spent all the components on a fucking rocket ship. Sorry, Mariana. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough vault life for these people. 
We need to be out there. We need to be out there rescuing cities, saving people in a much more central place where we can get to other settlements, other buildings, other complexes. Chef will have spent over a year in isolation at this stage and no more. We're ready. We're armed with the cure that we will test on Mariana as soon as we find those final few components. She will be responsible, even in her unconscious state, for helping save this world. And every single member of this colony has played, uh, I think, a key part in keeping us going. All of them, in one way or another, have contributed to finding this cure, to helping save this planet, and now we've actually got to get back out into that planet. No more hiding away. No more cowardice. We're on it. Tomorrow, we save this planet. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for bearing with me. This episode, last episode, had been recorded back to back because I was away. So it was it was a bit of a, a bit of a panic, a bit of a struggle. I, they weren't as high quality as I wanted them to be. It's a very necessary evil not to miss any more days. It's also why I had to sacrifice no episode on um, on Monday, which is the day I am recording all of this stuff. So again, massive thank you to uh, for for bearing with me. Do you feel like the vault has definitely detracted a lot away from the series? It feels too safe. It doesn't feel risky enough, and I I don't like it. I think it's a necessary evil. I think we certainly earned the journey over here but now it's time to get back to the good stuff thank you to nikki sticks rixo kiavaka helixia noira guardian easter akrana james rimenschneider a red demon sin of pie time waster chase worker of secrets vodka shork comrade Nathanius, mill bryce ramberman 138 evan crocker mythomatic nuance for like and love a somber apoc mr irrelevant sign swiper josh lunt erica todd howard and Jack, uh, uh, what? Jessica Smith as well. Thank you. Thank you all for joining me. Much obliged. Thank you for being here. The executive producer tears and making it so I don't need to take hideous, soul-crushing sponsorships from corporations who really don't give a shit about you or me. Thank you as well to Egg, Irotha, Andre, Philippe, Skylar, Drake, No Reality, Raptor Mother, Shadow Blade, Pumbly, Mochi Panda, Richie B, 634, Ichigo Nads, Skunkalope Safati, Nikki in Wonderland, and Technomen08 for their support in addition. Goodbye, and see you all tomorrow.